from actually taking part in the system and we go round and round and round in circles over and over and over again. But if you are interested in my theory on how we can get rid of the two-party system, here we go. Here is a fact. The GOP is broke as a fucking joke right now. Donald Trump has all but bankrupted the Republican Party in both the state offices in separate states because they all having to deal with all these legal cases because of all the fake elector schemes. And two, the RNC, the National Committee, now they are beholden to him because he done made his daughter-in-law fucking co-chair that shit. So these motherfuckers are broke. They're also in chaos. You see what happened with the speaker vote. That shit has never happened. And then they kicked that motherfucker out and put another idiot in, and that took two or three times. The Republican Party is in chaos, and we need to kick them motherfuckers while they are down. So as I mentioned before, it's going to take people that will commit to doing hard things. And here is the hard thing, sweetheart. I know you're not going to like it, but we have to keep the Democrats in power for the next four to six years. That's just a fucking reality. If the GOP wins the executive branch and one chamber of the legislative branch, they are going to change the rules of how our legislature runs. And they already own the judicial branch with those six conservative judges. So it is going to become the law of our land for at least a generation or two. So that means your kids and your kids kids will be under authoritarian rule. Your everyday life is going to suck, too, because if the GOP gets the executive branch, the executive branch is the one who appoints all those cabinet positions. Right. So that's why in the headlines, it does not say that Biden uh, bypassed Congress. It says Biden administration because it was Secretary Blinken. And in 2016, when that mango Mussolini motherfucker won the presidency, he had people in the administration that kind of knew what was going on. And, you know, people, it wasn't just his lackeys. It was people who actually knew how the government worked. This time he's not going to make that mistake because those are the people who kept his ass in line and kept everything from going off the rails. If a GOP a uh, representative wins in 2024, if it's Trump or anybody else, they are going to appoint people into these cabinet positions that affect your daily life. The secretary of housing, the secretary of education, the secretary of employment, like it, listen, it is going to get bad for you. Very fucking bad for you because of who he's going to put in those positions. And also, again, they're going to make this shit the law of the land for generations. Now, I ain't Katie Porter, but I got a little bitty white boy, bitch. Hold on a second. Okay, this is, I want you to look at this board, right? And I want you to see it's three different colors on here, black, green, and blue. Now, which color is represented the most on this board? I'm not finna sit here like door to motherfucking explore with you. It's green, right? Green represents House and Senate, the legislative branch. Do you see how many times the House and Senate is up for re-election? Every time, right? Every two years, the House is up for re-election. Every six years, the Senate is up for re-election. But because six is an even number, usually somebody's Senate term is also coming to an end every uh, time we have a midterm election. Now, listen, if we keep the Democrats in power in 2024, 2026, and elect a Democratic position, I mean, president in 2028, and we also give them the House and Senate they need to pass the things that are on their platforms, by 2028, the fucking Republican Party should be done so. Again, this is my theory. I don't know if this is going to work. You don't know if a theory is going to work until you test that shit out. So what we need to do is to keep the GOP out of power until 2028. So we need to put the Democrat uh, president in power and give him a majority in the House and Senate in 2024, then come back in 2026, keep that majority in the House and Senate, and then elect another Democratic president for 2028 and give them the House and Senate to do what they need to do. Because if you let the GOP come in here in the middle, they are going to stall this president out and not get anything accomplished. And then we're going to be going around and around again about what party's ineffective and all this other bullshit. Y'all have to.
to vote in the midterms. The highest midterm turnout we have ever had in our lifetimes was in 2018. It was 49%, less than 50%. And in 2022, y'all ignorant motherfuckers had the nerve to make it go back down to 46. I will never understand this shit. Yes, I do understand. Y'all don't understand how the system works, so you don't do what you need to do. But now, what I was saying is, if we get to 2028 and we elect yet another Democratic president, then we have to come back in 2030 to give them the Congress that they need. And then, by the time they're running for re-election in 2032, they should be put on notice because we've been showing up here, 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 and here. So by 2032, they should be like, look, these motherfuckers done caught on to us. Let us do our jobs properly. So then by the midterms of 2034, we should have more progressive people in the House. We should have more progressive people in the Senate. The fucking GOP is out of here. And so is the two-party system. We can elect people who actually represent our views and values. And then 2036, we don't have to have a Democratic fucking president, we can have someone who actually respects and represents us. Vote!